We are just over one month away from WrestleMania. This is Michael Cole with JBL at ringside, and the managerial shakeup in WWE continues. That's right. Raw has a new general manager, Shane McMahon. The McMahons are obviously increasing the pressure as we approach WrestleMania. If you thought things were bad before, you ain't seen nothing yet. There's no limit to the hatred the McMahons have for this superstar tonight. They're putting him up against one of Raw's top superstars. And what a way for Shane McMahon to make an impact as Raw's interim general manager. Looks like someone's moving up in the world. Even if you wind up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. I think someone's been taking flying lessons. He dodged that bullet. <coughs> he was one step ahead on that one. What a counter that was. I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. Of course not. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars is just as impressive as the physical conditioning. I've been looking forward to this match all night. So have I. It's certainly been one of the... Look at this. He's lifting his opponent by the throat. He's got his opponent way up there. What goes up? Let's come down. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. You... He wasted no time going One, for that pin. Two. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, and injured superstars like a wounded. He's going up, and what goes up must come down. Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this stuff at home. Absolutely not. These are trained WWE superstars, and even they wind up seriously injured sometimes. That's for sure. Even me, a former WWE, his opponent might not have One, enough left to kick two, out. Three. He's headed back to Raw, but I think he would have preferred to get some more of his opponent. I can see why. Did you see how he handled him in there? Actually, I thought his opponent looked pretty good. Well, he'll be able to walk away from the ring. I guess that's something. It's better than some of this man's opponents have been able to do. Yeah, but if they meet again, I'm not so sure he'll get that lucky twice.